Good morning, everybody, here to our next webinar about uh, JFT Invest, um, our trading platform for investing. So it's a social trading platform. It's a following uh, platform, so you can select strategies uh, from a given portfolio. Uh, those strategies are already pre-selected and, uh, yeah, the, it's quite easy to follow those and uh, we will have a look to that. By the way, my name is uh, Stefan, Stefan Friedrichowski, and uh, I'm personally responsible for most of the strategies which are around at um, JFT Invest. Uh, today's webinar, yeah, 21st of um, December and honestly, that one will be the last one uh, for this year for me and uh, no other webinars. So after that, uh, the topic of webinars is closed for this year, but still the work is not closed. There are still things to do and I will do those. So anyhow, uh, whenever you um, uh, try to, to follow those strategies, we will discuss here um, how to do and what are and that are the special topics for today. What are the, uh, the highlights of last week? And uh, of course, we will have a look to my personal portfolio. I currently follow six strategies and um, yeah, hmm. uh, luckily, yeah, really good. I have earned close to 30%, um, at least uh, gross. Uh, since three months and that just was an account of 10k and following a couple of strategies we will have a look to that as well because i think uh, it's christmas time so mm, we should enjoy uh, the earnings but before we really start uh, just uh, as you know as always uh, i have to show that slide uh, we talk about trading uh, and that is our risk disclaimer Talking about trading means finally, whatever you do, you do it on your own, your own responsibility. Uh, I think that's uh, self explaining and quite sure that you understand that. Uh, you can hear me laughing because um, uh, I have to show that slide every time, but it's legal and uh, that's uh, fine for me. JFT in West in total is. Um, yeah, it's an investment platform. It's a digital wealth management at JFT. And what you are doing finally is you act as a portfolio manager because you select between right now eight different strategies. You select what kind of strategy, risk allocation, and the amount of money you allocate uh, for a given strategy. So that's fine. Um, that's a good job. And... Um, I will show you an example in a few minutes. But let's start with the highlights uh, of last week. Um, highlights of last week have been uh, the strategy BIP generator. And I can promise you today, I will really uh, show much more details about that trading strategy. We will go directly into the account, directly on the master account. Uh, then you can see a little bit more how the trades are arranged and uh, because the strategy is just trading British pound, uh, US dollar, so the so-called cable, and it's doing long and short trades simultaneously. It uh, sounds crazy, but um, you will see how it works when you see those trades visualized uh, in a given chart. So, um, and then you may understand why that strategy is once again the top performer of last week. Just within last one week, uh, the strategy earned close to six percent, uh, which is an yeah outstanding number. And also the other top performer have been, um, as you can see here on my slide. Um, uh, BIP generator was the first one, global, FX Global Perform, and uh, then followed by Goldmine. So uh, to have those strategies in the overall portfolio uh, is good, and you will see I have those uh, in my portfolio. But how does it really work? And then we go further into the details. Um, so it works quite easy. You go to the JFD homepage, and uh, you go for investing, because that's the topic of today. And... Um, then when you start that, uh, you will immediately see, and I scroll first thing down here, uh, what kind of strategies we are offering here. Here are only the top five performers. Um, the table is updated uh, once a day. And uh, yeah, 
you see we have numbers of uh, even 50 percent growth uh, within less than a year so uh, that's really outstanding performance on the one hand on the other hand you see other numbers here as well um, because we are extremely transparent with all those strategies in terms of reveal all numbers or relevant numbers and for some strategies uh, you have to look for drawdown for some strategies you have to look for equity balance deviation uh, which is quite important because strategies might encounter uh, floating losses so they have open trades and those trades might be in the minus um, actually and uh, that is um, shown here with equity balance deviation and you see okay those strategies which have the highest number uh, in terms terms of uh, return, those um, have the highest numbers for equity balance deviation as well. What does it mean? It means that the strategies are much more volatile, but nevertheless, they are extremely, um, as if they are performing quite good. And now it's your choice. And what does it mean that you have the choice? Okay, let's first start um, as a guest, because that is something you can do always whenever you even um, not having an account, then you can have a look to that already, uh, which is um, quite well. And uh, yeah, then you see the complete list of strategies uh, right now here. And um, since the outperformer of last week has been BIP generator. So let's start with that one uh, first. And uh, yeah, you see the overall performance of uh, now about uh, eight months. And of course, we have drawdowns, yes. Uh, and um, But finally, on a long run, we have really an outstanding performance. Look to the uh, monthly return table here, uh, which is uh, quite well. And the same picture you get, by the way, if you uh, press that one here, um, then you can see the same numbers <clears throat> and you see quite stable growth over the time. I know that uh, it looks more volatile if you go for the daily, uh, but on the monthly, you see how that flattens already. And finally, it's um, yeah, it's a steady growth. And especially due to the last weeks, we have really extremely good performance. Mentioned that equity balance deviation, we can have a view on that here as well. And uh, then let's go for daily because then we have all the details. You see, okay, we have uh, sometimes floating losses, but they do not exceed 7%. So mm, it's not that uh, that high. So uh, therefore, the strategy is, mm, I think, doing a quite well job. Looking for transparency means additionally that we show what kind of instruments are traded and you see that is the one I mentioned, uh, British pound, US dollar for a given strategy here. And you see um, that there has been lots of trades uh, already performed, uh, um, more than 1,000 during the history of about eight months. Uh, so it's not a strategy like, okay, uh, we have eight lucky winners and uh, therefore we show the strategy, that strategy and that equity. No, it's really an outstanding performance and it's really um, quite well statistics behind that. Okay, but I promised, hey, let's have a more close look to that strategy. Since um, I'm personally, personally responsible for that strategy, we have here the direct access to the master account, not only in terms of uh, that uh, view here, though we can really go uh, for the strategy in detail. Uh, and that means <clears throat> what you see here is a picture of uh, the last one and a half months for that strategy. You see, we are trading British pound, US dollar, and that is exactly the master account of that um, JFD um, strategy. You see red lines, you see green lines. What does it mean? Those lines visualize <clears throat> profitable trades, so trades with plus and trades with minus. So the minus, of course, are red and the green ones are um, uh, profitable trades, so they generate profit. And you see both. And you see even both directions. What does it mean? What I mean with both directions. Um, so when 
a red line is going south, it means it has been a long trade. And you see that there have been some additional trades and finally all the trades together come to a good end. And uh, that is what you see here within that graph. So you see that we open trades in both directions. If you look, uh, and that, that's the reason why I zoom in here a little bit, uh, you see right now <clears throat> we have a long trade opened at that price and a short trade open at that price here. And both trades are running. Both trades have to take profit, as you can see with the dashed uh, red line here. And as I mentioned in the text, the basic of that strategy is that that kind of underlying is not a strong mover. That means typically we are going sideways. So the price maybe go up and then comes down back again. And that's exactly what we see here. And that means um, we can have profitable trades with long trades and short trades as well. So why not open those simultaneously? I know that that is really a crazy strategy because in most cases the strategy is is flat, flat in terms of investment. Um, but both sides are have a tendency to generate profits as well, and that not simultaneously uh, in terms of time, but um, if you wait a little bit, then also the other side can be profitable as well. So whenever you have an underlying which is doing sideways, and that most of the time, then that kind of strategy is ideal uh, for that kind of underlying. And since we was British pound US dollar, we have such an underlying which is not really uh, going in, in long terms uh, in one direction. And then the strategy is extremely profitable. So nevertheless, even if we do rebuys with that strategy, so we open trades and if the loss is too high, then we, we even rebuy uh, a certain position, but we still we have a stop loss. Right now, that stop loss is, I think, still far away because we have only point, um, um, oh, one lot for that strategy. So I think we might even not see the stop losses up to now. And um, But those stop losses have been hit in the past as well. And that is exactly what we can see um, on, on the website. Let's have a look once again to the growth. Um, then you see definitely that this strategy has um, a stop loss because otherwise we don't would have we would not have those steps down here which really have been closed trades so having both something like a grid approach something going long and short but having a stop loss as well um, that makes the strategy quite robust and quite stable and it's not a strategy in terms of um, going martingale and doubling all the trades whenever you encounter losses no we have stop losses and we go always 0.01 lot per trade um, so it's doing a good job and that's what i call a, a tamed martingale strategy even if it's not really a martingale strategy it's really uh, a crazy one but it's uh, really doing well as i mentioned that's the one thing let's go back to our uh, web page here um so when we are oh, what is what do you have to do if you would like to join uh, jfd and west so it's just uh, quite easy so first thing is you have to open invest profile that is simply signing up and um so it's exactly that button you sign up and that only means you get a profile nothing more uh, no costs involved definitely it's um, to register your email and you give your own password and then you have already access to more details of those strategies next step next step is um, you open a so-called jfd invest account uh, that's a special one because you 
cannot really trade by your own in that account in terms of, hey, I want to open a long trade a euro or US dollar. No, it's only meant for um, those copy mechanisms, so that you copy trades or copy strategies uh, in that account. That account has a leverage of 1 to 100. Uh, the reason is that you follow professionals and therefore you don't have uh, the restrictions of leverage. And then finally, you capitalize your trading account and then you may start copying those strategies. Let me have a look for that as well, uh, because then we can look to my current portfolio. So now I step in into um, JFD and West, not as a guest, though, with my personal uh, the profile and that, that profile is um, connected to an originally 10k account and I follow a couple of strategies but let's start with the review of what we achieved with that kind of portfolio so in total you see here the growth or the balance of that account which is really doing well and uh, funny enough, um, if you see step downs here um, in the account, yeah, those are related to fees. We have to talk about fees as well because uh, fees, yeah, uh, when you follow a strategy, then you pay fees, yes, but only if strategy is earning money. And then you pay fees and um, so in total you pay 25% of profits, but those uh, fees are um, high watermark. That means only if you reach new highs with a given strategy, uh, then at the end of the month um, you might have to pay. That's the reason why you can see, okay, we have a total return here of close to uh, 30%, which is really outstanding for three months. And if you look to my balance, it's a little bit above 2,000 um, earnings. That would be 20%. Uh, it's a little bit higher, 2,200. The difference have been the fees. So what you can see here is really net performance of a given portfolio. Um, so after paying all uh, the fees. And still, I have earned... Um, 22% within three months uh, by following a couple of strategies. You might be interested in which strategies I follow. Uh, of course, I share that information with you as well. Uh, my current al allocation table here, um, you see that I follow six strategies and those six strategies are Eurodream, which is a strategy um, trading euro us dollar only in a quite impressive way because that strategy has uh, very low floating losses so that's uh, doing a good job um, then we have gold mine within the portfolio bip generator within the portfolio that's the one of uh, last week uh, outperformer then fx global performance is in my portfolio then strategy balance and finally power fx which is the strategy um, using power candles on a d1 time frame those strategies are within my portfolio and still always is we have the question hey should we change and hmm, honestly i don't see a good reason why to change right now let's have a look of the overall um, possible strategies you know we have eight here and i follow six of them um and uh, you see exactly by those buttons here which one i follow and we still might think about jfd invest uh, galileo because uh, that is the outperformer at all um but the, the downside a little bit at least is if i press that one impressive um, equity no question but let's have a look to the details here we know oh we have um, a minimum investment sum of 5k so up to now i have 12k in my um, jfd invest account so that strategy would be more or less half of my total account and that's something mm, i don't like um 
because I want more diversification. Diversification is the key to for any portfolio. What do I mean exactly with that? Let's go for another uh, strategy and then you can clearly see why it's good to be diversified with uh, a given portfolio. Um, I go for uh, more view or details on FX Global and you see, okay, that was a strategy with a uh, higher loss um, but a good recovery. Nevertheless, we have an equity balance deviation and because there have been floating losses which have been quite high. Okay, now I have to tell you the strategy is doing a great job, but here within the strategy we have close to 40% equity balance deviation. Let's go back to my portfolio because I follow that strategy as well and uh, and let's do the same. The good thing is that you can have a look to your uh, JFD Invest account in the same way than to any other strategy. So uh, that's uh, quite cool because then you can do the same kind of analysis. And let's go for equity balance deviation here as well. And now you see, okay, within my portfolio, my highest equity balance deviation has been 8%. That's quite good because that strategy, FX Global, it's just one part of my overall portfolio. And the probability that, that all uh, strategies are having higher floating losses at the same time, that is not high because strategies are highly uncorrelated. So they don't have the same traits. And therefore, um, that kind of diversification following a couple of strategies is extremely good to have that kind of balanced portfolio. So. If you want to change any allocations, that's quite easy. You go for allocation and then you just need here action and you can stop uh, any allocation just with a mouse click. And same you do with all things. It's a few mouse clicks to follow, to unfollow uh, any uh, strategy. So it's really uh, a great platform and um, it's quite easy to handle. And what you are doing is you act as a portfolio manager. Right now, I have that kind of selection and you might have a different one because it's always a question of what are your personal preferences. So if you think a strategy which has floating losses of more than 30% is not good for your, your account, no question. Um, I can agree with that statement. But then we don't need that strategy. We have other ones. And um, looking for, for example, for uh, Euro Dream, which has a really low equity balance deviation, uh, if you go for that, you can see, okay, that's only 1%. So that's more calm and not, not, not that volatile. So um, there are quite a lot of strategies. I think always you will find a good one which fits to your own preferences. Let's enjoy once again and last time my my achievings here and uh, because I'm really proud of that to have that kind of growth. I think until the end of the year I will hit the 30% gross profit uh, which is then 25, 24 about uh, net which is still outstanding for a little bit more than three months. Um, so I can enjoy that profits here. Um, so it's really good. Uh, and yeah, that's maybe something for you as well. Um, steps are quite easy, opening a profile, opening a JFD and REST account, and then you can start following those uh, strategies. Same one, other ones, exactly to your own preferences. That's good. You have all the information available, what kind of trades are executed here. You can see close trades for uh, any strategy, instruments, um, floating losses, uh, daily um, profits, whatever, you name it. And that's good to be that transparent. And I think it's good to have that uh, kind of profitable strategies in our basket. Uh, and you can select the right one for you. That's for this year. I think it's time to say goodbye and uh, I wish you a Merry Christmas, of course, and that you have a great start in the next uh, year, 2019. And maybe you will think about uh, those quality, uh, in your quality time uh, about JFD and West. And you can already play around looking into the details just as a guest. 
and you may do the next steps as well. And hopefully, I see you again next year. Um, so I wish you all the best. Enjoy your time. Bye.